I'm Kendra, and here at Hope by Happenstance, it is time for another installment of Let Peach Lit Pick. Peach Lit, my little fibery doppelganger, is joining me on a trip to California at this very moment. But before we left, she helped me to pick out a project to take with me on the train. The way she did this is we're going to spin her around, pull a clip. The clip corresponds to a box in my stash. We'll go in there see a bit of mustache, and then I will make a quick judgment on what project I'm going to begin based on Peachlet's recommendation. Kendra from the present here. I just wanted to pop in and let you know my progress on the last thing that Peachlet picked. So the last thing she picked was a Bernat Pop in the color Moon Shadow, which I ended up working up into a Desert Wind Triangle Shawl? Triangle Scarf? triangle something or other by the make do crew it is a free pattern on Ravelry which links you to their blog for this incredibly simple and uh I don't know it was an instant gratification project definitely and here is my finished product so you basically simple triangle shawl the pop does all the work for you on color transitions when I got to the third color I did white till the bottom and then I started decreasing the yellow the dark purple light purple and then bound off. So I'm happy with how this turned out. It's light and airy and it's, you know, got the nice long tails. I've seen lots of the patterns people put tassels on, but I'm not a tassel or a pom-pom kind of person because my cats try to eat them and that is not good. But I uh, did have some complaints about this burnout pop. The white yarn has speckles of like the yellow and the purple in it but they don't seem like super intentional looking to me. The yellow just kind of looks dirty. So you might wanna keep that in mind if you're interested in this color of Burnout Pop. Maybe just like look at the color. If you're a person that's bothered by that, um, maybe pick a different skein. I think it would look better if there was more little dots of the purple in with the white, then that would be okay. But the way the yellow is just kind of weird. But back to a uh, peachlet of the past, picking my projects to bring with me. You ready to pick something for the train, Peachlet? Alrighty, just give her a little, little toss here and pick this one. I don't know what number it is. Do you know what number it is? Okay. Number nine. Let's go find box number nine in the stash. I don't know which one is number nine. So here we have my yarn stash. It is not numbered sequentially, so we must look at all the boxes and find Box number nine. Ooh, what's in the box? Ooh, so. So this box contains five different shades of Red Heart Soft. These are currently being worked up into a Tides of Chain Afghan. So this is all already counted for. Then the back here has my Lion Brand Heartland stash. So we have the black color, the pink color, more of the black color, the dark blue, the light blue, and the cream color. Yes, they all have names, but you know what I'm talking about. And then there is this bag of mill end gray yarn. Hmm. So I was thinking the other day about starting a cardigan out of this and seeing how far it gets me. Hmm, I think this might be the impetus to make that happen. I think I've made my mind up. I am definitely going to use this gray yarn here. This is a mill end bag from Joanne's, so obviously I don't know specifically what yarn it is. I have, you know, done wraps per inch and stuff and figured out weight and everything and how much yardage I think I have based on that. Um, the other day, I actually got a whim to go and pull this out and I really want a cardigan. What a very particular cardigan out of this. I'm looking at the Reminisce Cardigan by Heidi May of the Velvet Acorn, which seems to be my go-to sweater pattern person these days. But I had gotten all this out, weighed everything up, figured out that I think I have enough yardage to at least make a really good go at this sweater. I might have to do like a different color for the ribbing or something, which would be fine. Um, but as I had this all out, I had to like slap my hand. I was like, you have things you're already working on. No, no, no. But clearly Peachlet thinks that it's a good plan for me to take this project that I really want to do with this really squishy gray yarn, take it with me on my trip. 
So I think I shall do that. Note, the Reminisce pattern is a paid for pattern. It's $5.50, I think, on Ravelry. So I will go purchase the pattern, make sure it's all downloaded on my phone, grab my supplies, and pack this away into a project bag to take with me on my trip. And hopefully I will come home with something beautiful. It might not be completely done by the time I come home because obviously I'm taking other projects, but I can probably get a good start. On the screen next to me, there are links to other videos in the Let Peach Lip Pick series, and down below is a link to my Etsy shop if you would like to check out my project bags and crochet creations and help support me so I keep making fun, free, crafty content for all of you. I'll see you next time. Bye!